Hello, this is Collection Connected back with uh, another group of my graded comics. Uh, this time I wanted to share with you some of my graded independent books. Um, up first we have Cave Woman, and this is the first appearance of Cave Woman. Hard to find book, I've only ever seen it one other time in the wild prior to the copy that I grabbed here. Sent this in for grading, came back a 9.6. Uh, just great bud root art. And that's the main reason to grab this series. We got up here. Caliber Christmas special. Came back 8.5 weight pages. Got it signed by James Obar. Uh, just a hard to find a crow issue. We got Caliber Presents number one. First appearance of the crow. And I got this signed by James Obar and Tim V. Hill. I came back at 8.5. Again, the only time I saw this book in the wild, I grabbed it. And the only real defect on this thing is there's a tiny quarter inch tear on the back. But I have not seen another copy out in the wild. Um. Talking for all in sketch cover, Spawn 159.8 with a background pinup by Jim Lee. Just a cool Spawn cover. You can check that on the back there. Check out that Jim Lee. That's actually better than the front. But uh, two superstar artists doing sketches on one book. Can't beat that. One of my favorite independent series of all time elf quest first appearance of cutter and the whole crew the wolf riders fantasy quarterly number one 9.4 and i actually i picked up another copy of that same book graded cbcs also a 9.4 um love elf quest it's one of the first independent series i ever followed Uh, now we start with Walking Dead. So here's image first, Walking Dead number one. I sent that one off. Uh, just curious to see what it come back. Also, it does not come back and say second print on it. It actually says image first. So I thought that was interesting. 9.6. Walking Dead number one. This is the foreign Peruvian edition, signed by Tony Moore. First appearance of the Walking Dead characters. Um, I picked this up at a convention for 20 bucks. Probably would have graded higher, but uh, it was a couple of younger kids, and uh, they managed to knock a, half their wall books off in the floor when they were getting this down for me, including this book. But for 20 bucks, I grabbed it anyway. Again, another one, Walking Dead number one, 9.8 German edition. I just grabbed this up. I was starting to get into some foreign books, and I've just happened to see these cheap. And I got this one already graded, I think, for 50 bucks. Now, the actual Walking Dead number one, CGC 9.6 signature series, uh, signed by Tony Moore. I picked this up at the C2E2 charity auction for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And uh, just a great pickup, great cause. Um, I overpaid for it, but, you know, it was going to help the Children's Hospital, so not a big deal. If you look in the background, that's uh, another Bud Root piece from the Heroes Con Art Auction. I got that 2011 at Heroes Con. Um, Bud Root actually, I bought it originally, it was black and white, and he did me a free color version of it and sent it to me. He's just a great artist and all around nice guy, so. Walking Dead 19. Kind of an interesting story with this series. I happened to be at a comic convention and was at a seminar on investing, uh, Steve Borak was given. 
And somebody in the audience said, you know, they got up and asked, they said, do you think Walking Dead is going to maintain their value? This is before the TV show and everything. And uh, I told my wife, I said, that stupid zombie comic, that's never going to be worth anything. And uh, here we are, <laughs> years later, rather expensively catching up collecting the zombie comic. But uh, when I first started collecting my local comic book shop, I started collecting around issue 50. My local comic book shop sold me every issue for cover price out of her personal collection and caught me up. And I sent these off for grading. Got a 9.8. First governor. Now issue number 27, also 9.8. First appearance of Abraham, Walking Dead 53, 9.6, also is Rosita and Eugene. Uh, I picked this up down at a shop in Florida. Same thing with this one, Walking Dead 61, first appearance of Gabriel. Also has the five page chew preview on the back, 9.4. Picked this up down in Florida, uh, also along with... Um, one of those Amazing Spider-Man 36 black covers I showed that came back in 9.8. Walking Dead number 75, San Diego Comic Con exclusive variant cover. I actually bought five of these off eBay for 15 bucks. Sent one in just to see what they would grade. Uh, it came back 9.8. So I got four more of these waiting to be sent off next time I send any in. Walking Dead 100, second print. As soon as the show came on, I got on eBay. And I bought every copy that was under $5 on eBay once they first started rumblings that they were getting to the point that Negan was going to be on the show. So, I don't know, I think I picked up probably around 10 copies, all under 5 bucks. Took the best ones and sent them in for grading. Got 9.6. 9.6 Sorry for that glare Nine point eight, And I sent in the chrome copy just because I liked that cover My favorite color is chrome. And that is all of my slabbed independent keys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos.